as y'all can tell from the title, today's gonna be another vlog. Um, right now I'm in the car. Oh, let me turn this down. But right now I'm in the car. I'm on the way to my Pilates class. Um, I couldn't vlog at home when I was getting ready because your girl was rushing. Y'all, I had to literally hurry up and do my hair because my hair was not done. Yeah, my hair is never done when it needs to be. But I was just so tired. Like, literally the whole last week, I did hair for a whole wedding. It took the whole week. Like, y'all, I was doing five people at a time, four people at a time. Then I had to go, oh, my lighting look off. I don't know what's wrong with my lighting. But... Y'all probably like, you want to apply this with a beat face, y'all. It's crazy because my face isn't even beat for real. It's literally like the lightest beat ever. It's literally concealers. It looks so done, but I promise you it's not. But like I said, my last week was so booked. I haven't been to Pilates in a couple of weeks just because I've been doing hair so back to back. It's so hard to like be able to make it to the classes and then make it to my bookings make it to my bookings because like I do hair all day like people don't understand like this doing hair isn't really a hobby for me anymore it's honestly a full-time job like I literally it's literally my nine to five I do hair from 9 a.m. my last appointment is always at 6 p.m. so a lot of people don't understand that they think I do hair when I feel like it but no I actually move with grace on a on a schedule Nobody's gonna ever really understand or care enough to be honest. And I don't understand why everybody's driving so slow. But yeah, so that's been my life. Literally hair been taking over. But I had to do my hair because I have to film a content video for a clothing company. Y'all know your girl getting back in her content bag. Um honestly since I've been back in Georgia, I just I feel like I took a little eight month break on just chilling and I'm done chilling like I'm really getting in a routine of just getting up and going not really even when I don't feel like it I'm making myself just because like I know where I want to be in life and you're not going to get there if you don't get up and go accomplish what you need to do for the day like it's a lot I'm even backed up on like a, a couple of vlogs so I'm gonna use today like um after my Pilates class I'm gonna go help my friend out at her photo shoot but then after that, like, I'm going to just dedicate some time to editing because it's just so much that needs to be edited and posted. Like, I got so much content I need to post on YouTube. I'm trying to get back on YouTube consistently. I haven't posted my last video since, I think it's been like three weeks. So, I'm trying to upload every week at least. But like I said, my hair schedule literally takes up the majority of my time. So, it's just like, we got to be realistic. Who wants to record a video after working? Or doing hair sometimes I do hair for like 12 hours like nobody wants to do that so I'm trying to get more consistent a more consistent schedule because I do hair like Tuesday through Saturday so I might actually like start taking about three days off from doing hair and do hair from like Wednesday through Saturday and just kind of accept more appointments on each of those days just to kind of balance it out because it's hard like it's really hard but I can't complain like I'm really blessed like I knew what it felt like not being booked and not receiving collaboration so I have no complaints that's one thing I'm not gonna do because it's a lot of people who will kill to be in my position so very much blessed but I'm about to focus on this road I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get out of my Pilates class because I can't record in there but I'm gonna get a couple of snippets of just so y'all can see what's going on of course I'm gonna have a day in my life real um real and TikTok coming soon just because just to show y'all what I do on my off days when I'm not um, in the shop for hours. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fresh out of my Pilates class. I'm feeling oh, nice right, and right, mean. Right. Energetic and refreshed. You want like But Dino? now we at China no, Shoe. Boots. You just gonna say you. I can't show y'all everything. Y'all got to wait to the picture. It's she. I'm trying to figure out why. Y'all already know who's shooting. Well, I'm gonna see how I feel. Y'all know who's shooting. That's how it's supposed to look. Exactly. She wants some damn ankle boots looking like grandma and shit. 
Like, unless you want to fold them down, but they're supposed to look long. No, I'm talking about this part, the full part. So what? When my mom look back, tell this, tell this woman over here. Y'all, she wanna play. You gonna be looking like Jada when she had them denim boots on. Yeah, but we here. Those boots are perfect. We sitting up. That's the difference. Yeah. That's not a long boot though. I'm sick. Wait. Hmm. Wait. No, 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 this interview, right? Oh, so it is this? Oh, okay. There's one. I'll go over there. What the fuck is this? It's in there. I'll go in there. Oh, okay. I'm right. Nigga, where? I'm sitting here looking like, is it me? It's on this. I think it's on this side. Where did they? Is they it paint me? over it? The fuck? Cause we use we literally just had it. It gotta right be there. to paint it over. We literally just used the outlet. Right oh shit. We trying to find the outlet. We be back. <laughs> Cute. 
And when my girl dropped them pictures, y'all better go like. like. And y'all better go book my photographer. Like. Cause the right now. Stay in book now. What's that uh, tip? Y'all seen that real was like, how I'm supposed to pay bills? Maybe I gotta start selling crap. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, you got, hold up y'all. Let me fix this. Cause the sign. Is my camera charged? I'll put it on the charger. But what's up y'all? It's the next day. And once again, I'm back in the car. So what I'm doing, well, I'm in my salon suite right now because I had to get a client's wig. But I am on the way to actually go tour some different salon suites because um, I'm planning on moving areas really soon. And my lease for my salon suite is going to be up in a couple of months. So I'm just like kind of weighing out my options. I want to be closer to the majority of my clientele. I mean, like all my loyals, they don't have a problem with coming out here. But it's just like I kind of want to be a little bit more convenient. And then I'm kind of just like mm, going through a phase. I'm just ready for a change. Like I'm ready for a change of area. Um, just, you know kind of getting away from what I know already you feel me it ain't really much explaining to do about that but yeah I'm finna go on some tours real quick I'm gonna go look at two salon suites that are really cute well they look really cute on Instagram y'all ignore my hair but then I'm also prepping for this weekend me and my boyfriend going to Miami we just wanted to have a little getaway. Oh, hold up, baby. Right on red. What we doing? Come on, boo. You scared? But, yeah, me and my boyfriend going on a little little staycation to Miami. So, today is the only day I can really just, like, get ready and prep for it. So, after I go look at these salon suites, we're going to go get our nails done. Well, we're going to get our feet done. He's not getting his nails done. But we're going to get our feet done and then I'm going to get my nails done by a nail tech because it's a certain set that I want. And the nail salons here, like, okay, y'all, when I was in Houston, I went to this one nail salon. They used to body the fuck out my French tips. I don't know. Like, I literally can't find a salon here well, in my area that has like the right base color like you know what i mean like i don't want my nails looking like no cvs press-ons like i want it to look real natural on the base with the white tip with a little deep cut <laughs> but that's pretty much it oh and i gotta get a wax i don't know how i'm gonna fit that into this schedule probably after i look at the salon suites we'll know, um, i think we should just like go straight to the nail salon and get our feet done because that's not really gonna take long I be getting jail anyway, so we know there's no not really no wait time for that. So probably after I get my feet done, go get a wax, and then by that time it'll be time for me to get my nails done. Cause my nail appointment not till six anyway. So I think we're gonna be good because I'm gonna get to the salon suites at two. I'm viewing two, and they don't take long to tour. Like all I gotta do is just like look at it get a space take some videos and then that's cool um it's just the salon suites are about 45 minutes out the way so i can't make it long so i'm gonna try to be back on this side by like four Cute. The one I like is so cute. Make sure I'm going the right way, y'all. I'm trying to talk. 
but it's so cute it's real convenient it's fully furnished i don't have to do too much like i'm in the era of okay so even just with my brand i'm in the era of having a real clean brand i'm not into all the doing the most with a suite anymore i done had a glitter wall suite i did the black and white stripes like i'm tired of painting i want a real nice clean basic um just kind of match the aesthetic come on the fuck can't drop. the only thing is that i currently just stay really far um and even just with the area i stay in i work at the best suites that's in the area so even just upgrading suites in the area that i stay in it's not really gonna be an upgrade because i'm already in like the best ones that's out there so yeah oh now that i did that i wanted to get that out the way because like i said my lease is going to be up in i think january so i'm talking about i think well yeah i think it's january but uh, I could always renew the lease, but it's like I kind of don't want to because I have goals on moving and I'm I'm kind of like back at square one with this shit like before I moved to Houston Of course before I was moving to Houston. I was gonna just stay in Atlanta But the thing with it here is it's just so hard finding a reasonable apartment Like something reasonable something that's not taxing something that includes something like something something I cannot be working. Well, I mean, I found an apartments. Don't get me wrong, I found apartments. But it's just certain requirements that I need. Like, with living in two different apartments when I was in Houston, now that I have the feel of what I actually want to live in and the needs and the wants that I want to have and pay for, like, now it's kind of challenging being out here. Because, and then I want to upgrade. Like, I had one bedroom. And I just personally can't do a one bedroom anymore. Like, I'm good on that shit. I really want a two bed because I have so much stuff, y'all. Like, I have so much stuff. So, yeah. It's so much. Like, people don't understand. Like, it's so much that I have to do by myself along with that. Along with, I have a class coming up, a group class. I have to still get that stuff together. It's not enough hours in a day. Like, y'all, it's already 3 o'clock. It's already 3 o'clock. I don't know. When I was in Houston, time used to go by so slow. Like, it felt like I had my whole day. But now that I'm back, it feel like the days just be going past. Like, it just be going by so fast. It's real cute inside. Let me let y'all see. When you walk in. Yeah, y'all come get waxed by the best. It's real cute, real cute. But I'm just waiting. I'm gonna get my wax and then I'm gonna go get my toes done with my man, my man, my man. But I'm just waiting, y'all. I don't really have nothing to talk about. So I guess I'm gonna see y'all when I'm done. And I'll talk to y'all when I'm done. And I get back in the car, you know, my favorite place. Um, it is real quiet. That's why I ain't even trying to talk quiet. Real, real loud. But. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get finished with my wax. Hey, um, good morning. It's 9 a.m. It's the next day. Yeah, I haven't been closing out my vlogs, but let me tell y'all how my day ended yesterday. I'm gonna tell y'all why I didn't finish my vlog yesterday. So, y'all know, last time I talked to y'all, I think I was at the wax, at my wax place. Yeah, literally, like, time started just fucking rushing and flying by. Like, I had to, y'all know how I said I had a nail appointment, which I got done. I love my set. It's so cute. I don't think it's on focus, though. They're so cute. But, oh, I look like I, I'm still trying to get accustomed. Like, my eyes still swollen. Oh, but I'm about to head to the shop. But, no, let me tell y'all. So, I leave... I left, okay, first of all, I was at the West Place. I literally waited an hour because the person before me, it's like she got, like, her whole body wax and then some. Like, I don't know. That, it kind of took forever. So, but I was a walk-in, so, you know, I don't be doing so much. So, I waited, got my wax. That took about 20 minutes. But, y'all, my, my nail appointment was at 6. So, I didn't get done until, like, 
mm, like five, five fifteen. So when I put it in, and of course it was traffic trying to get to my shop because the nail tech she actually worked in the same suites as me. So thank God because I had to go that way anyway to get hair. So I'm doing that. I'm collect. I am on the way there. I'm in traffic, but. Keep in mind, y'all remember I was supposed to go get my nails done and my feet done with my man. My man, my man. So, I couldn't even do that. Like, I'm supposed to say, we were supposed to go to nail that. But, he, I guess he's going to get his done today. Because I literally, I'm booked for the next two days from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, like, I'm literally going to have the longest days today. I'm not going to get done. My last appointment is at 6. I know I'm not going to finish her until, like, let's see, 6 to 7, 7 to 8. Mm, like, 8, 39. I'm going to just say 9. But, depending on what she get. But, yes, y'all, like, it was so hectic yesterday. So, keep in mind, I had I had to get my feet done because there's no other time. The nail salon don't open until, like, 10. My first appointments for the rest of the week, um, for the rest of this week start at 10. Then, my boyfriend was just like, oh, well, you can get them done in Miami. But, like, I don't like doing stuff like that. Like, I kind of want to already go and just already have my shit together so we can just, like, jump straight into the fun. I don't want to be trying to find no nail salon, worry about getting fucked up, and all that. So that, I so what I ended up doing, instead of getting a whole pedicure, I just went and got a color change. It looked like I got a whole pedicure, but like, y'all, I wanted to go through the water and stuff, like them scrubbing with the hot towel on. Like, I literally wanted to do that, but, so I just went and got a color change. That took about 20 minutes, and I still was able to make it to my nail appointment on time. Which was good because now these these was important and they longer than usual. But baby, I'm going on a trip. I'm sorry, I couldn't do that that short shit this time. But yeah, so I'm about to go to my suite now. Like I said, my first appointment is at 9:30. It's 9:22. Yeah, 9:22. Yeah, 9:22. And so I'm about to go get in the car, head to the suite. I'm probably gonna get some breakfast or something first. Because I don't want anything that's in the house. I don't want no cereal. Um, yeah, I low-key want to just get a Starbucks drink. But that's going to have me running back and forth to the bathroom all day. I don't know. But when I figure it out, I'm going to check back in with y'all. I do that three more times again, I testify for you I told I like you, that bitch I do it All that I'm on ground, you're scared to do I'm not, as long as you joking, now it's for me I ain't got it, I've been skimming, looting, hide your body As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem I don't got nobody just with you right now But the truth, I look better under you I can lose when I'm with you how can us lose and miss the moment? You just too important. Nobody's the body like you do. I can't lose when I'm with you. I can just lose and miss the moment. You just too important. Nobody the body like you do. You do. In the top chart, right with you, I feel like Scarface. That boy, bitch with the bob, I'll be your main one. Argument back up to my place. Sex from my you, I'm not violent on your day one. We had shit, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Smash and grab shit, yeah. Nasty habits take a hold when you're not here. Ain't a home when you're not here. Are they growing? You're not here. I'm saying, I can't lose when I'm with you.
I got to do my hair before this trip tomorrow. This week been hella hectic. I'm trying to clean up because I ain't gonna be here until Monday. So I'm trying to get some shit in order. Okay, y'all, so I'm actually home right now. I'm currently packing for this trip. We leave. Well, our flight says it departs at 12 o'clock, which means you got to be at the airport like two hours before. Keep in mind, it's Friday. And y'all, I'm actually really upset about my hair. My hair, I did it at the shop, as y'all seen. And so, I'm pretty sure it was no airflow going through the suites because it was just hot as fuck. Literally, the whole shit sweated up. So, I have to fix it, but I'm not even in the mood. Like, when I tell y'all, that shit pissed me off. That shit made me so mad. But, I gotta fix it. I'm probably gonna fix it in the morning. Like I'm so tired. I'm just not finishing up packing. Like I had to go through so many pa like pa um not pairs. I can't even talk. See that? But like so many bags of clothes, boxes, like a whole bunch of shit because I never unpack my shit. So yeah, cause I wanna wear certain outfits. Like I had to find like all my like really good clothes, like the looks. So I'm a um. Yeah, I'm a, I'm about to clean up a little bit. It's like 2 in the morning. I didn't leave the shop until 12. Like, when y'all see me, it was like 11 p.m. I've been there since fucking 10. I am tired. I'm legit tired. But I'm actually, I'm just excited. Like, I'm so ready to leave. Like, I've been awaiting this break. And I am ready to have some bonding time with my person. So, yeah, I'm tired, but I'm really going to end the vlog off here because I want to do a Miami vlog. We're going to be there for three days. What's that? Three days, 72 hours. So that's going to be a vlog within itself. So I'm going to end this one off here and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to start a new vlog. 72 hours in Miami. <laughs> But don't you guys forget to check out all my social media in the description bar below. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more vlogs, more hair content, etc, etc. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.